X-Collar Hospital Use Clinical evidence shows that there are several drawbacks with the use of common cervical collars. Their wedge-like design can create an abnormal separation between vertebrae, in addition to a pivot point at the upper edge of the collar. They cause an increase in intracranial pressure by obstructing venous return. These conventional C-collars require you to manipulate the patient to fit the collar instead of allowing you to splint the patient in the position found. Clinical evidence also shows several drawbacks to securing patients onto rigid backboards. This creates discomfort and causes the patient to continually reposition. They elevate a patient's stress and potentially aggravate existing injuries. The straps used to secure patients to backboards reduces the ability to breathe by 15 to 20 percent. The X-Collar cervical splint is designed to support EMS agencies in their efforts to improve protocols and increase patient safety by avoiding these major problems and more. The X-Collar can also eliminate the need of rigid backboards for patient transport by securing the patient above C1 and below C7 both anterior and posterior. This video will demonstrate how to properly apply your cervical splinting system, manage the X-collar through the progress of the call, perform patient assessment, readjust and remove the X-collar, and the duties of the second EMS provider. Unfold the back support and lock it in place. Encircle the patient with the X-collar, placing the chin support directly under the patient's chin and ensure that the chin strap is placed below the lower lip. Check to be sure the chin is resting on foam padding. Connect the lateral buckle into its receiver on the left side of the X-collar. Holding the chin support in place, tighten the left side lateral strap while using opposing pressure on the X-collar. The goal is to minimize patient manipulation during application and to keep the patient in a neutral position. Repeat this strap tightening procedure on the right side. Next, adjust the chest support downward. There are two methods of extending the adjustable chest support. The first method is to utilize the blue and yellow push tabs on each side of the X collar to slide the chest support down until the padding material makes firm contact with the upper sternum. Always use opposing forces to make adjustments on the X-collar. The second method is to push down on the lower center portion of the chest support while holding opposing pressure on the upper chin piece. Ensure the chest support rests firmly on the upper sternum of the patient's chest. The blue and yellow push tabs are not to be moved down past the clavicle bone. Ensure chest support padding is protecting the patient's skin. Secure the adjustable chest support in place by pinching the two locking buttons. Finally, deploy the first X strap by pulling it from its holder. Use opposing pressure by holding the same side vertical portion in front of the chest support. Weave the X strap between the channel guides under the patient's chin. Connect the X-strap to the corresponding colored Velcro on the opposite side. Repeat the step for the second X-strap. Pull firmly until side scale is in alignment. Visually confirm proper fit. The patient is now secured with the X-collar in the neutral position. Duties of the second EMS provider. During most emergencies, there will be a second rescuer aiding in the application of the cervical splint. The duties of the provider assisting on the application of the X-collar are to remove obstacles that may be in the way, such as debris, vehicle headrests, clothing, earrings, and hair. While the first rescuer holds the inside layer of clothing and inserts the back piece in place, it is important that the second rescuer pulls the outer layer of clothing. This allows the X-collar to slide into place. Hold manual C-spine while the splint is being applied. Hold the X-collar in place, especially when applying to a seated patient. And move earrings out of the way while the X-collar is applied. 
The second rescuer plays a key role in the speed and ease of application. We understand that emergency situations do not always present ideal circumstances. Therefore, the X collar is designed to be easy enough for one person to apply or readjust. But it is important to practice applying the X collar in both roles to familiarize yourself with each duty. Practicing these techniques with your colleagues is the best way to prepare yourself for any situations that would require the use of your cervical splint. The key points to remember in this section are to hold manual C-spine, remove or hold any clothing, jewelry, or obstacle that might get in the way, and look for ways to make application easier for the first EMS provider. The x collar Management the x collars versatile design is able to adapt as the call progresses. Once the patient is in a safe environment, the cervical splint may be readjusted to improve patient comfort or safety. For comfort, the cervical splint may be slightly loosened at the various adjustment points by simply loosening the chin strap, releasing tension on the blue and yellow crossing straps, and releasing tension on the white lateral straps. Before transferring or changing the patient's position, always check the x collar for proper and secure application and consider retightening the x collar cervical splint for increased patient safety. Disconnect both x straps and reattach them with the appropriate tension Check the sides for a snug fit and tighten the white side straps if needed. Adjust the chin strap. During the progress of every emergency call, it is important to continually reassess your patient and make the appropriate adjustments for comfort and safety. If you want to remove the x collar from the standpoint of being able to just put your hands in the back and feel for midline spinal tenderness, it's very simple. It's basically three maneuvers. You're going to undo the two Velcro straps that create the X. You're going to undo the strap on this side, loosen it as much as you can, and now you can adequately put your hand in the back and check for inline or um, cervical tenderness in the midline. Then, without doing much more interruption than that, you can reseal the product right back without any problem. X collar readjustment. If during patient treatment or transport, you find that the X collar cervical splint has moved out of place due to a patient's movement, maneuvering the patient, or any other unforeseen circumstances, you may need to readjust. To properly reposition the X collar, disconnect the blue and yellow crossing straps. Loosen the chin strap. Loosen white lateral straps. Reposition the X collar to recapture the patient's chin. Check that the chin is properly captured. Hold the splint's front piece in place and retighten white lateral strap so that the collar supports the chin. Attach blue and yellow crossing straps. Adjust chin strap if necessary. X collar removal. First, release each X strap in a controlled manner to eliminate rapid expansion of the X collar. Before removing the buckle, Slowly release the tension on the X collar by detaching the Velcro on the buckle strap. Finally, unlock the buckle and remove the X collar from the patient.
we recommend you take a few minutes to complete our free online certification course to become familiar with applying the X-Collar in different circumstances.